Ever wondered how to make your high level dashboard look 10 times nicer? Then this video is for you. What is up everyone? My name is Jason Michael Carr and thank you so much for tuning in to today's video. In today's video, I'm gonna show you how you can make your high level dashboard look a lot nicer using some CSS code. CSS code isn't the most difficult thing out there to learn or to use or anything like that. In fact, it's probably the most simple thing that you can actually do out there and we are gonna use a tool to actually do all this. But when it comes to code, a lot of people just sort of shy away from it because they have absolutely zero clue on how to use it or how to do anything with it. So let's jump straight over to the computer and we're going to use this Chrome extension right here called Visual CSS Editor. I'm gonna leave the link for this down below and pretty much all this does is it allows you to you know, actually edit your high level dashboard visually using some CSS. So usually before this, you would have to actually right click click on inspect element and try and figure out exactly what part of the high level dashboard it is that you're hovering over. You then to actually go in, custom code it and make it look all right. And just, there's going to be a lot of playing about, but with this method right here, it will literally do everything for you in a matter of seconds. So you've probably seen my high level dashboard itself before. And this is pretty much how it looks. It just has my orange and the light blue from my logo. So all we gotta do is come over to extensions and we go to visual CSS editor. It's pretty much gonna load it up into this sort of playground where we can play around with it and change it and do pretty much whatever we want. As you can see, it is now loaded up and we got this sort of element over here on the right and it's pretty much just this box that tells us there's no element selection. All you gotta do is literally select anywhere on the screen. Let's just say we'll select under this dashboard right here and we'll go to background. Click underneath the dashboard right here, just behind that. And if we head over on the right, click on background, gives us this color and currently it is white. But let's just say I wanna make the dashboard background to be the exact same orange color as my logo. And this is going to look crazy because you're gonna to have to do a lot of stuff with it. But as you can see, we got the orange background out here. I'm not just, I'm not gonna keep it like this just because it sort of makes it just look a bit cheap. Play around with this, get it all up and running whatever way you actually want to do it. And you can literally change everything here. So let's just say we wanted to change. So let's see, click on here and here. Let's just say we wanna click on the dashboard also. Let's just say we wanted to change the actual text color here for the dashboard. So we click on dashboard, go to text, and we can actually just blow the font size right up here. And the color, let's just say we choose a nice green. And let's change underneath this text right here to orange also. So we'll head over here. And the thing is with the high level CSS and everything, the way they've actually coded the whole dashboard is you have to do a lot of these different things manually right here. So let's just say if you want to change underneath here also, let's just say we want to change that to purple. It doesn't change it on all these here also. It, you literally have to go through one by one, do everything. And even there's a border on here, I can see that is in white. You literally just have to go to the border, change the color, change everything, change literally whatever you need to change for it to actually get up and running. And I've actually done this as well for a good friend of mine, Marcus Hustle over at Aura Consulting. I pretty much helped him black out all of his dashboard as well, just because that's the actual theme of his company right there. So let's just say we head over to marketing, pretty much all these tabs, you need to do all of these one by one. So as you can see, we got the black on the dashboard right here as well and a few other places. It's pretty much just simple code that you can just get up and running and it just helps you differentiate yourself with all these other high level, white labeled agencies and everything out there. But you're probably wondering, okay, what happens if I just refresh this? Do I save it? What do I gotta do? So you pretty much just click on export and what you get right here is all the CSS code itself. So all you gotta do is control A this to copy it and then control C and this copies the entire thing or right click, copy, whatever you want to do. Then you wanna click on close editor over here on the X button. So once you've copied all that code right there, you want to head over to your main agency settings in your dashboard. Do not do this from a sub account. It won't work. You won't have the option to do it. So head over to your agency settings. And then on the left, you want to head over to company. Can't actually see company just because of this right here on the screen. But then you want to scroll down to custom CSS. Come down here. And if you don't have anything in here, just hit paste. But if you do have some stuff in here, just leave a space in there and just hit on paste right there. Then you just wanna hit on update company and I'm not going to do this just because I don't actually want to put that code in there, but you hit on update company and once you then refresh your high level, so just do control F5 to hard refresh or hard reload it. Whenever you go into any of your sub accounts, the updated code will actually be in there. So because it's done from your agency view, 
it is agency wide. So all your clients see all those changes. You don't have to do it manually one by one into each every single client. Another cool tool that I forgot to show you was the image color picker right here. So let's just say you wanted to change your dashboard, but you couldn't actually figure out how to get the exact shade of whatever color. If you head over to imagecolorpicker.com and upload literally any image, you can get the exact hex code right here. So let's just say we wanted to hover over here and get my red. Just hover over this right here and click on this. And as you can see, the red is BF304B. We just copy that and we just put that in the actual CSS editor itself. This is one of those shorter videos, but it's also one of those things that comes up quite a bit because high level agency or SaaS owners do want to have a different dashboard from other people, just so it looks different for, you know, any demo videos or running ads or anything like that. So it's not just completely obvious that you're not just the average high level SaaS company out there. If you made it to the end of this video and you don't actually use high level, you don't have an account or anything like that, we've partnered up recently to offer an extended 30 day completely free trial down below it's going to be that first link down there and if you are an existing high level user then you can click on the first link down below also and click on upgrade so if you did want to get access to all my bonuses and all my resources that i've talked about in many many videos then you can upgrade to any high level plan and actually get access to all those different things like the start your SaaS course access to the telegram insider community access to weekly calls bi-weekly guest calls scripts templates and a ton more so if you don't use high level or if you do use high level just click on that first link down in the description and you'll see everything on there thank you so much for watching today's shorter video and i'll see you in the next one